welcome back to Layers of Fear. Um, well, we're doing chapter three. Uh, so this is a psychological walking horror simulator by uh, Bluber, a Polish development team. Uh, it's about a uh, a painter in the 1920s that's uh, got schizophrenia um, and is trying to paint a masterpiece of her, of his wife. He's forgotten kind of what she looked at, uh, looked like because she was uh, involved in a fire um, and was badly burnt. And um, it might appear supernatural, but uh, uh, the mansion is just a representation of his mind. So we know he's uh, used parts of her body instead of burying her. He's uh, used parts. He didn't kill her. He's just used parts of her body to try and u utilize them in painting the perfect portrait of her. So the first one was her uh, first. L I uh, looked for a canvas, not just any canvas. I had to find a knife, not one of those bread ones. It needed to be as sharp as a razor. So I used razor, in fact, uh, and then carefully flayed her skin. Boost helped keep my hand steady and uh, the skin he used as a canvas. I needed a jar and a plastic tubing. I siphoned gas before I knew how, how it was done. I stuck the tube in a vein and sucked on it until blood filled my mouth and then put the tube in a jar and it just kept coming. The taste of copper haunted me uh, the entire night. Why didn't I think of a syringe? So, I was wondering if it, uh, supposing you can, yeah, yeah, you can turn it, okay. Really? I can turn her skin? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we're off to get the next body part. Uh, forgive me if I miss something. I'll try not to, but it's pretty easy to miss things in this game. Um, there's a lot of interesting paintings. I believe there's 38 in total of uh, different artworks around. Uh, based on real people, uh, real artists, I guess. Uh, but he's painted a lot of these arts that look like from other people. So I'll uh, pretty much be opening all the drawers to try and uh, not miss anything as as best as I can. Okay, what was that? Can I open? That's not opening. There's a rat drawing here. I'm not really understanding the rats. He says he doesn't, uh, everyone says he doesn't have a rat problem, but he's convinced that he does have a rat problem. And we have seen rats as well. Uh, this is a representation of his mind, though. So I guess we have to keep that in. It's not going to open. Okay. Uh, you will see a phantom in this um, this episode. I guess uh, it's hard to describe what the phantom is. Um, it's kind of there is a note that kind of describes it, so I'll leave it to that. Uh, bit of a strange picture. Okay. Well, that's one way of moving a piano. <laughs> um, okay. About a boy who wakes up in a cave. He finds a mysterious note and a gun. He then journeys through various environments, woods, fields, rivers. Eventually, he winds up at a small cabin, where it turns out this has all been a product of his subconscious, brought upon by a traumatic childhood memory. He killed a guy who had murdered his father in the real world. He's been drooling in a loony bin this whole time. Get it? This sort of twist is gimmicky, but I think it works. Could you storyboard it for me? If you're interested, I'll send you the details right away. Frankly, I think you should take this job 
it pays well and it would take your mind off of well you know everything else please let me know as soon as possible so he um he does artistry for uh also books uh whether that's really he's not a writer i don't think i think he just uh, does artistry for books i like the little red writing on thomas Cal caldwell um i think that was an artist in the around about 1920s political artist uh um uh, i think he was from ireland from memory and uh, a furniture dealer so maybe some sort of interaction there um okay let's give you now i believe you're about to see the phantom here Thing this is his wife, and uh, you gotta kind of gotta stare at this for a little while. Are we seeing anything different? I don't know. You have to kind of. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's his wife. Um, because the note will talk about her. Uh, it could be him drunk as well. Don't know. You kind of have to pause that, I guess. Get a better look. Creator's block. Fine. Oh, there we go. Okay. Where was supposed to go? Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. Actually, if we look around, I think there's a secret here. I think this is a reference to his baby, as in his wife. Not that she hanged herself, but she did commit suicide. Uh, we will see. Pretty sure. And you'll see what I mean by that. I, th I think it's just suicide is the theme here. Maybe she attempted it in other times as well. So his whole mental palace is ruined. And now we kind of, I think. Hmm. How do we get in? There we go. Gotta turn that on one way. Okay, so we can use the key to open up this. Should be another note. May the 23rd. How can two people who once loved each other so fully, so profoundly, drift so far apart? My husband barely speaks to me anymore. He just slithers in and out of his study, obsessively working on one failed painting after another. He won't even sleep with me anymore. I can tell he's disgusted by me. He, The look he gave me the other day, that pathetic, hurtful look. A combination of shame, guilt and repulsion. I've come to realise that I've become a monster in my husband's eyes. It feels like nothing a woman should ever experience. Still being the good wife that I am, I decided to realise my husband's fantasy. If he thinks me a monster... I will sure as hell at the part. So, um, yeah, since um, since she was badly burnt in the fire, of course, she's disfigured. And uh, even though she returned home, he never spoke to her. We just They used to communicate, leaving notes around from that point on. Uh, we have a... I'm not sure, don't forget, why June the 9th? I'm not really sure about that. That one does not open, that one. Okay. This seems to be it here. Oh, jeez. <laughs> wasn't ready. I wasn't ready for that. Bluebell likes to do things. So I think you see another phantom here somewhere. Is 
that kill the dog? Hmm. Not too much long. I reckon that might be his wife setting fire. Yeah, that's basically what it is. There's another note in here. More notes today, even worse than before. The sad part is, I agree with every word. What we have here? Painting a picture. Alice Furnham. I think she's a modern composer for the harmonic orchestra. So doesn't fit the timeline. Anyway. Why is all the books? Hmm, okay. Can we turn the lamp on? Why can't I click on the lamp? There we go. Okay, we'll have a check at the other room first. Oh, there's something in here. Paintbrushes. Bryce's something. Bryce's act. So this is a whisper. This is like a memory of the past. Hug, 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 hug. You ordered a true portrait, so that's where I painted you, fucking pleb. Maybe I need to kick some artistic sense into your stupid face. So after the um, fire. He um, started scaring away both, you know, everyone that supported him, even his family, uh, his friends, by painting horrible pictures. He never painted anything nice after that, and uh, everyone, I, I guess, became afraid of him. Locked. Alright, let's go downstairs. Hopefully. It's kind of surprising, I thought, um, having gone downstairs, that it wouldn't be the same, but it is. Can I click on that? Oops. Definitely Alice Furnham, but I just can't read what the other stuff is. When you're Yeah, I can't read that. Well close though. Physiology. Oh well, there's a picture. Interestingly none of the faces are blanked out on that one. Why would he be keeping a picture? Uh, all the pictures involving him, he's crossed out the face and same with his wife. That one isn't. Uh, can I move this? Okay. Okay. No, 
uh, climbers. Like, yeah. Hmm. Oh, okay. It's key. Oh, does that happen upstairs? Can't turn around. <laughs> and can't move that one. No. Alright, let's have a look in this room. I've never been in this room. This is going to be the first time. That opens up. Oh, okay. What the? As I said, he's uh, blackened out or crossed out the eyes. A hole everywhere. Um, there's two times I, um, she uh, left him before, and of course we know uh, in the uh, start of the game that he was coming home from a court case. Um, wonder if that picture now changes. No. Oh, hang on. Oh, it's, oh, it's the eyes in the background. Is it the four people there or three? I think the person in the background has his eyes crossed out. Might be us. There's a note here, but I go read the note. Dear sir, if I am to be honest, I can't say your letter was unexpected. Numerous colleagues have informed me that you had previously sought their advice in this matter, and while it is perfectly understandable for a patient to demand a second opinion, I would think 16 concurring opinions would be enough. Still, out of respect for you and your wife, I have examined the, the case thoroughly and I have to concur with my colleagues. Involuntary muscle spasms are not uncommon with patients who have suffered burns as severe as your wife did. What you refer to as a freakish grin or an unnerving yelp, though many would find such expressions hurtful could indeed be manifestations of nerve damage. The other symptoms you mentioned do not seem to be physiological, but rather purely psychological in nature. Traumatic events can lead to severe stress, and that is nothing to be ashamed of. As to your demand that we fix your wife, you have to understand that what she went through cannot be undone. With one simple procedure, it is a long, arduous process that will require all your strength and support. Please feel free to contact me or my colleagues should you wish to discuss a long-term rehabilitation program. Sincerely, Robert Richards, MD, another freaking whack. Um, uh, what you probably don't know about me is um, I was actually involved in an explosion, uh, a car explosion. I was blown quite a way and... Uh, had literally all my skin from head to toe uh, taken off and I can tell you that the that the um, pain is excruciating uh, I didn't have third degree burns unfortunately only had a layer or two um, taken off hello yes what fire? Oh God! Is she? Which hospital? I'm on my way. Yeah. Um, so what you got to understand is uh, his wife left there uh, already before took the daughter, and she got involved in a fire. I think it was at the concert hall, and the daughter was fine. Of course, nothing wrong because the daughter was. Uh, but um, his wife was badly injured to the point of he no longer can see. Um, 
stand looking at her and but from that point on she came back here so yeah that's, that's basically the timeline and then um, so you, you've got two different occurrences of her coming back as I said um, even though I had uh, skin burnt off from top to bottom does that change? no um, you can, with new skin you can't go outside uh, the sun just is, is so painful because it's new um, and the nerve tissue etc here it's a little bit different because she had extensive nerve damage um, what that does to you I, I, I can't even imagine um, just as I, I can guarantee you, uh, what you think a person goes through when it comes to um, severe burns it's just unimaginable restless memories okay and you see him turning to alcohol again I think he uh, had alcohol and that's why she left him with this I wasn't ready for that so I believe this uh, phantom that you keep seeing is the wife but I believe it's the muzzle spasms and everything else it might be him um, again you could only pause and have a look I guess uh, our world turned upside down oh look there's a picture of there you know I never knew that was up there why is it <laughs> okay can't turn these things on Thoughts, negative thoughts. I I've never really had a good look at this room because I quit. I've always gone and turned the light on, and as soon as you do, it changes. <laughs> so this time I luckily. Oh, the room's flipped upside down again. Okay. Oh, now we can uh, open these. Oh, there's anything there to click on. It's kind of they've done it and they've gone overboard on the bottle problem. <laughs> I would swear that uh, we have a uh, we have a we have shares in BWS or something. Beer wine spirits. Constant fire, sort of a look. look. Ah, really? Can I come back here? No. Oh, we did put WD 40 on it. That shifts so much better now. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> WD 40 on this side. Alright, there we go. Going up? Nope. Okay, going down. Sorry, just doing some elevator music. Don't even know what elevator music sounds <laughs> like. Abandon hope while you can. Oh, here we go. In any case, as your lawyer, I advise you to refrain from any imprudent actions. In other words, don't do anything stupid. We still have a chance of winning this. Believe it or not, I've gotten clients out of deeper stuff than this. Just don't make it any worse. Lay low for a while and let me appeal the court order. This social worker definitely has it in for you. We can use that to our advantage portray you as a victim of the system. 
a husband in mourning, a momentary lapse of reason, an overzealous bureaucrat. Trust me, this is our best option. Considering what you've been through lately, I'd say we have a good 50-50 chance of a good outcome. But not if you are if you keep trying to convince everyone that you've gone completely insane. No more outbursts, no more rambling, better yet, no public appearances whatsoever. You can still get your daughter. So as I said, uh, at the start of the game, we were coming home from a court case that seems to be not because of a crime that we've done, as we would go probably to jail if we uh, were. So we haven't killed our wife, but uh, it was basically to try and get custody of our daughter. I actually thought that was the end of, the <laughs> end of it there, but forgotten this little part. There you go. We do have rats. I'm not insane. <laughs> we have rats in the belfry. Um, why do we have ropes and handcuffs and things like that? Okay. Bit of light. Bit of water. That's my cousin. I thought it was a, a white mouse. That's bad. <laughs> that is so funny, guys. Okay, so here we are. This is basically where our wife committed suicide. Again, showing our baby committed suicide. Our darling, our wife. I'm, yeah, I have not even a theory on what the whole lid down. My wife has taught us well. <laughs> I can get married <laughs> with that sort of uh, uh, remarried with that uh, sort of behavior she's drummed it into us see all the pictures are fascinated with death and destruction and Pantry. What is the point of this pantry? It's got to be something to click on. Oh. Okay. Okay. I have no idea. I'm not using a file where I've picked something up. So. What is the points of this room I have no idea guys maybe I gotta turn off the light I honestly feel like I'm missing something did the light even turn on or off oh yeah it did not that that made it any better okay Trying desperately not to. Oh, there's another one. I mean, there's no point to these rooms. Okay. Like. <laughs> I can open that and feel like I'm missing a key or something.
Ага. Still have no idea what that is referring to. And again, you notice no mirror reflection ever. It's like we can't face ourselves anymore. Wondering if there was a secret in this room. I don't know. Maybe. Okay. Guess alcohol is boxing us in. Really? Alright. Yeah, normal Saturday night. Okay. Hmm. That's better. Who needs a candle? You notice I'm limping constantly, so uh, we uh, went to war and we uh, had a damage uh, on our leg. That's our wife's wardrobe. Oh, there we go. Dangling bread, patient, thirsty, furry. Fatal. I think some rats fell, <laughs> fell out of the roof. Um. That's the pinnacle of my playing piano playing. Huh. Oh, this is how you move furniture around. <laughs> okay, this has got to go upstairs. <laughs> oh, I wish I was this is like an astronaut. Can, I, can we take these things upstairs? Oh. No, 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 still going. Come on. Come out. Don't gravity. Ah, oh, come on. Outside. Oh, no. Yep. Come here. This. It won't let me take anything out there. Go out. I feel like portal. I could have put the cube in the. <laughs> That's how Portal began, guys. <laughs> okay, um. Oh, here we go. I needed to remove the flesh from the bone. At first, I was lost as to how. But then I sawed it off with a handsaw, boiled it, then put the bone in a mortar. I had to get one, obviously. This was not something I'd done before. Finally, I mixed the dust with some white paint. It made for a lovely undercoat. And now we had the other. So we used her bones. So I don't think there's even much of her left. Um, and, and I think this portrait would have to be one of the last. Because I don't want to ruin the ending, but we've been trying for a while to get the perfect portrait of our wife so um, well, that's basically about it yeah, I think here um, so this is the end of the chapter again we've uh, now come back to our gallery room oh, wow we're filling in a lot of those wrap pictures that I have no understanding. Maybe we'll understand at the end. And here we're going to put on the undercoat. Hmm. 
this is a madness. <laughs> this is our greatest masterpiece. Portrait of our wife. Uh, it's not looking good so far, is it? <laughs> well, uh, join me next time as we continue on. Until then, bye for now.